Welcome to another video tutorial here at Vitality. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up 3CX with IP authentication. This is different than normal registration using credentials. This is going to be IP based authentication. Now, the first step we need to do is to go into our user portal and go to our sub accounts page. And at the very bottom, we need to add our IP address. This is going to be the public IP address of our 3CX system, not the private IP that may be behind your NAT. This is going to be the public IP address. After we have that set up, then we need to go to our phone numbers. And we're going to take one of the phone numbers that we're going to route to that, select the routing method, SIP, PBX server or soft switch, and then select that IP endpoint. Now, once we have that all set up on the Vitality side, it's time to go set up things on the 3CX side. Now, you'll want to pay attention because there's a lot of little things that go on here to make this work. We're going to go to our VoIP providers, I'm going to add a new provider. And I'm going to call this Vitality IP. And we'll just select our US, go down to Vitality, select Next. And it says to see our documentation. Well, what we're going to use is 66.241.96.109. That's the only thing we're going to change on this screen. Go to Next. Our external phone number is the phone number that we have set up as our primary phone number for this. So I'm gonna put in a phone number that I've created. Authentication and password are not gonna matter, but we have to put something in here. So we can just put vital and uh, it doesn't really matter what we put in here. Maximum simultaneous calls, I'll put in as 10. And then where do I want calls to ring to? I'll have it ring to my ring group. And I'm not going to set up the outbound route. I'll show you how to do that in another step. So now we have the VoIP provider in here, but it's not going to work yet. There's a few other things that we need to do to make this function properly. So we're going to double click on that vital IP. Now all these settings on the first page are going to remain the same. We're going to go to the advanced tab and change require registration to do not require important step here and make sure you always hit apply after each step so that it saves it on our outbound parameters. There's a few things that we have to change on here. The first one is the request URI host part. So we're going to go to the variable and change that to a custom IP range. And we're going to put in 64.2.142.93. I'm just going to copy that so I can use that again. Make sure I hit add update on that. The next one is the contact host part. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to a custom IP range, paste that in select update. Then I'm going to go to the to host part and I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Custom IP range, put that in there, add update, make sure you select apply so that it saves those changes. Then we're going to skip over to the DID page. And there we're going to put in the phone numbers that we have assigned to this. You need to put in all of them. So if you add them later, you're going to have to come back and put them in. Again, I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to go to source ID. I'm going to turn on source identification by ID. And I'm going to add a DID. Now if I have a lot of them in here, I can just select all, hit OK, and apply. And I'm going to hit OK and we should be all up and running. We'll go to our ports trunk status and it's gonna show that it's registered even though it typically is not. 
All right, the final step is to go to our outbound rules. Now I'm just gonna select my local plan here and I'm gonna select my Vitality IP, select OK. Now I can do this for all of my outbound rules. The rest of them that are Vitality out on here, I have set up with normal registration, but I can go ahead and select all of those for the IP authentication. So that's what you're gonna to need to do in order to get 3CX working for IP authentication. Again, follow those steps precisely and everything will work properly for you. So thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.